Hello, hello! I have lived in this apartment for two years. It is my first LA apartment, and I'm moving out in about a month or so, and this is about as good as this bedroom's ever gonna look, so I thought I might as well show you. Also, prepare yourself. I did not clean ahead of time because I want to keep it real. It's definitely not because I'm a lazy fuck or anything. I think this is like the most that you can get of my room. I'm way back in the corner over here, but we will start next to the door. This is a bookshelf that my sister was using. It's from Ikea, and she gave it to me because she didn't want it anymore. Got a printer, my lunch bag random mug and this is where i keep like my notebooks my industry books random journals from the past dvds above it i have this incomplete gallery wall this is a painting that my friend megan did for me back in the day this is from a family friend's house and then these are all thrifted and you know what would go well here is something like this <laughs> you know like a landscape that's black and white so it goes with these two because these are all warm neutrals um and then i never found it and i don't know if these will fit in my new apartment so well spent, well spent money. Next to it, we have my Chicago Skyline canvas poster, which my mom gave me one year, and I never put it up because like, I don't really know where it would go. I mean, the, <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. Or like, put it up there, we'll get to that. Um, but like, we could have put it somewhere, but... <laughs> and then there's a poster that my mother-in-law gave me for Christmas years ago, and um, never put that up either. It was gonna go up here, and then guess what didn't happen? This is a maple dresser that belonged to my grandma. It also came with a matching nightstand. After my grandpa passed away, my grandma had, you know, two dressers and two nightstands, and she only needed one of each, and I was moving out, so she let me have my pick. And this has been very good to me. It's very heavy, but, um... I do love it. And on top we have a globe, a Balik vase that my grandma also gave me, and then I think my mom gave me this. It's just a... It's a box. Ooh, a s <laughs> car horns, hee 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 hee. It's one thing about this apartment I will not miss. It's very, very noisy. This is my bed. It's a queen size bed. It was here when I moved in. The, the girl who lived in this room before me just sold it to me because moving a mattress is a hassle. So I just went with the easiest option. My favorite gray blanket. Um, the bedspread is from Ikea. I really wanted a pink bedspread for the longest time. And then my roommate pointed out like if I, there's a lot of green in this room and if I had a pink bedspread, it would have to be like a pink and green room. And I fully agree with her. So I'm glad that at the last minute I went for this yellow floral one. Sorry, I have to push this in all the way. It's bothering me and I'm sure it was bothering you. But yeah, when I first moved in, um, there was this huge black wood, like imposing bed frame that the girl who used to live here um, had. And it like, it took up a lot of room. And also just when I saw pictures of it, I was like, wow, there's something that I would never choose for myself. So I took that apart and a friend of mine was moving and getting rid of her literal Amazon twin bed frames um, that you can just smush together and get to fit a queen bed. So it looks a lot better. <laughs> Also, fun fact, this is the first time that I've ever had this window exposed like this because, as you might be able to tell, this is a ground floor apartment, um, and so when I have this window open, people can just walk by and see into my room. I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet. Um, I will be embarrassed if and when it does happen because I'm, you know, vlogging. But yeah, I usually have the blinds pulled down, and since those don't cover everything perfectly, I also have these sheer curtains. And on top of that, so I'm directionless as fuck, but I'm pretty sure this is a north-facing window, which is um, the worst for getting natural light. But like now that I open this thing, I'm like, oh my God, it's so bright in here. <laughs> Next to my bed, I have my nightstand, the one from my grandma. It has all of my books on um, Nordic concepts, mainly Hygge. And then my grandma also gave me this lamp. I have a couple of perfumes and my Heartstopper posters above. My roommate gave me these for my birthday uh, last year because I had a very Heartstopper birthday. But yeah, my roommate got these posters off of Etsy and printed them out. And um, the fun thing is this light kind of, you know, illuminates them from below. So you can see all of these, you know, fun wrinkles and stuff from where I manhandled them, trying to get them on my wall. Something really awesome about this room is I have my own ensuite bathroom. It's dirty, it's dirty. I didn't empty the trash can. I didn't clean the mirror. I didn't clean jack shit. Uh, 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 oh. But it's got a nice shower, a toilet that is constantly making noise, a little medicine cabinet. I do wish, I mean, I don't have that much stuff. So the amount of storage in here is fine but I do wish maybe we had some sink storage as nice as this looks by itself because I need somewhere to put my menstrual supplies because right now they're in my closet, which means that if I need to use a pad, I have to have the forethought to go into my closet before coming to the bathroom. Can you hear those footsteps up above? So, you know, 
that's a wash, but I'm moving soon, so it's fine. <laughs> right here we have my piano. It's actually my aunt's keyboard, which I'm borrowing indefinitely because she has like a grand or a baby grand in her house, so she doesn't need it right now. My sister actually borrowed this when she was living in Denver for a time, and then she moved uh, into a house and got her own grand piano, so <laughs> now it's mine. Um, I'm not gonna play for you because I'm just like, I'm too good. It's gonna blow your mind. Now you may be thinking to yourself, that's an incredibly blank wall. What's gonna go there? Well, <laughs> these are lyric posters from my favorite band, The Amazing Devil. Um, Madeline Highland, one of the front runners, made them herself, aren't they gorgeous? So I bought these as a reward to myself for getting my first job in Los Angeles, um, which was in March of last year. And um, look what's not been put on the wall in that amount of time. It's just like the backings of this, these frames don't work with the earthquake proof hooks that I have and I need things to be earthquake proof because I live in California. And, uh. Also, according to my stud finder, this wall is entirely wires which can't actually be true because there's a shower on the other side of this wall. But like, what am I gonna do? Get a better stud finder? And here we have my glorious closet. Oh my gosh, there's so much space in here. It's it's not so much a, a walk-in as like a, a step-in, but it's still wonderful and spacious. I've got so much shit in here. Oh my God. Oh. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot I put googly eyes on this, that scared me. But yeah, all of my, my many clothings and, and shoes and things and menstrual pads are in here. <laughs> this is my beautiful bookshelf. I got it from Ikea. It's the Ivar system where you can like customize the, you know, the size of the shelves that you want and like how deep you want them. Um, but I absolutely love it. Up here we've got graphic novels and comic books, books from my grandpa. This is my Phantom of the Opera shelf. Uh, there will be a video on this. My classics, as well as my um, plays and gays, as I like to call them. Children's YA and fantasy and sci-fi, and then kind of like my, my singular novels for the most part, and most of these are contemporary. And then my glorious desk. This is where I spend most of my life. I have this lovely heart collage of all of these different like Etsy artists. Gloomy Grove, Cheyenne Barton, Laurel May Art, Audrey Okia, Maple leaves, Eloise Rosanna, Living Greenery, uh, footsteps. <laughs> this is a desk that my roommate was getting rid of, so I bought it off of her. And then we have pretty much all the same stuff that was on my desk um, in my childhood room. Lamp, various mugs full of pens and stuff. Shout out to Kristen for getting me the best bookmark of all time. That That is, in fact, Jesus Christ. This little thrifted sunflower pot that I filled with washi tapes. This is the notebook that I write in every day, and Below here we have all of my <laughs> electronics and such. Got this chair from Amazon, the rug from Amazon. I'm sorry, but you know, sometimes you have to line Jeff Bezos's pockets. Got a box of chargers under the desk. This is my backpack that I use every day. I love it. What's in my bag video coming? at some point. This is an Ikea cart. I finally feel like an artist, even though I'm not an artist, but this has all of my journals that I'm currently using, my Kindle, tapes, a little thing of stickers. And under here we have more stickers, some um, paint palettes, and then, uh, you can't really see your <laughs> sketchbook, colored pencils, pen and ink will, more uh, backup notebooks, envelopes, all that sort of thing. All that sort of thing. Good, good grammar, Rosie. And this is my gaming shelf. My aunt's neighbor was getting rid of this, so she yoinked it for me. It's got these little flowers on it that my mom got me from somewhere. It was recent and yet I've already forgotten. But we have all of my handheld games in the first three shelves and then <laughs> my meager PC collection and then some DVDs on this shelf. And then my Code Lyoko action figures full set, woo! And my plushies. <laughs> As for figures, we of course have my Ace Attorneys, my Professor Layton's, and just some random Nintendos, as well as, look at this, these cute little duckies that my pen pal Varian got for me, and the, the little Moo Moo Milk, Moo Moo Milk, Lawn Lawn Milk, oh my god, fake fan, I don't play Zelda. But this is the wedding favor from Haley's wedding, and it even has the little, the little shell inside of it that she gave to her bridesmaids. And we got Wumpus, my Momiji dolls, my Lumiere, and I already showed you those. And last but not least, we have my ukulele in this really nice uh, macrame hanger 
which I got from Etsy. Ignore this hole in the wall. That's from where my stud finder lied to me and told me there wasn't a stud there, but there was. Fun fact, there are metal studs in this apartment. It is the most confounding thing in the world. But yeah, this is my little baby. Oh my gosh, the last room tour ended with the ukulele too, and now we're ending, oh my God parallelism. Thanks for taking a look at my room. It has served me well, but I am excited for the change that is a coming. I appreciate you spending time with me. Bye.